Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing, extended, beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving yourselves, as well as, you know, sending out positivity and, you know, loving one another, even though there's sometimes it can be hard to do that with everybody. But, you know, you try to be positive and that's good thing so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video also if you're comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content in my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you um, feel like the videos gave you good vibes or even some good information that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for stopping by the channel and showing me so much support. It is greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Um, so today my meditation song is uh, Unlock Akashic Records, Remembering Mastery, Ultra Shamaic Drums. And I will be posting that link in the description box below. This man it's got my little third eye vibrating listening to this. Um, today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, be uh, unapologetically you. Yes, you need to be unapologetically you. You should not have to apologize for being who you are. You know, a lot of people just don't, you know, we rub people the wrong way. We do have that <laughs> kind of tendency to do that at times, but it's all right, though. But, you know, some people can't call that, you know, swallow that pill called true. Um... But it's all right. We do things the way we do things. You know, sometimes it's like before with me, I'm, I'm like, I had to catch myself because there at times you have to be, you know, even though you can be blunt, you have to be, you know, kind of, let me see how you can say that. Um, be attentive, or I guess that's the word I'm trying to use on certain, how you be able to put it out there. Because before I used to be able to you know say things and I just didn't care how people felt about it and I shouldn't be that way because you never know you know you don't want somebody coming at you like that it's like dang you know like I tell anybody you everybody has the right to their opinion but it's how you deliver your message you know because you might rub up you know somebody might come at me the wrong kind of way and I might just clap back so quick and I'm like oh, dog I'm sorry I, you know because I don't want nobody thinking that I'm, I'm an itch or anything like that but I, I mean if you slip you know you hit that switch that's a whole different story lately I don't know about y'all but I've been getting very my, my mouth has been getting very dry lately so you know just going through all those different things I should not have to apologize for being who I am you know I have been given this gift for a reason be able to help people and go throughout humanity and being able to you know when people wake up you know there's times where i see a close you know some of my friends i even went to school with and i hate talking to them about my stuff like that because i feel like okay these are my my old high school friends i you know i'm just leaving that alone but i'd rather talk to strangers about stuff like this before i talk to people that's known me for up 10 years you know and it, and it gets weird at times because i've you know there's some you know some of my classmates there are supportive and then there's some that mm, you know they they tend to have their insecurities spill out and i'm just like it is what it is you know but um it is you should never apologize for being who you are you know your gift is your gift you know you should be able as long as you're helping people and not using it in a negative way or trying to push out negative vibes because it's like with me there's a lot of things i can read about people and then there's things that you know i can open up about their life that you know not a lot of people know and they're like how do you know these things and that you know and it, it can be kind of scary at times because especially with me people some people are like Rosalind read me and I don't like doing that because it, it's just the fact is you want me to read you on one thing and it's like I can't be selective about what you want me to read about you because it tends to have everything come up 
you know, from somebody's life. And, it, you know, I'm a very emotional person when it comes to stuff that, you know, I really don't, you can't unsee that after you done saw that about that person. So it is just like, it can be, you know, very emotional at that time. But it's like, you are the way you are for a reason. You know, some people, you know, might not like the things that you say because they don't want everybody knowing what their true face looks like without that mask, you know, because a lot of people got a lot of different masks on their face and they show ch choose to show you what they want to show you. Everybody, I tend to think that everybody has a mask. Either it can be a positive one or a negative one. With me, you know, you can see me on my motivational side. Then, you know, off camera, you know, you act the fool. You know, everybody can't see that, but you don't want it on tape. You know, there's sometimes y'all see me in my goofy stage. And then there's sometimes you'll see my emotional side to where I'm like snotty crying or whatever like that. But I feel like everybody has a mask. It just depends on what kind of mask you're talking about. Either it can be, you know, there's there's like three or four different sides of people that you choose to see. And it just depends on who you are to that person. You might be able to see it. So it is just like it is what it is, but you should never be apolog you know, you should be unapologetically you. You know, you are who you are. You're a very unique person. You're able to help people and allow them to see the things that they need to pay attention to. It's just like I love when y'all come up to me and you're like, Rosalind, you tell me about your life story, you're trying to figure out where do you fit in into this puzzle where do you fit in what what am i i know i'm an empath but i feel like there's more things about me that i need to explore i love to be able to tell people like that um i'm just like hey i picked this up on you or i picked that up on you so why don't you go ahead and look at this or you know i might give them a you know a link to you know uh to something that where it shows all their characteristics or if there's a video I made about it you know um I can be able to tell them hey I made a video about this certain situation maybe you need to look at this as well you know and it might seem like a lot but it's just like this you wanted to know these things about yourself here you go so it's just like a blessing you do your gift and you wear you wear that badge well you know you don't take that mess off for nobody unless you're taking it off for you unless you're trying to take a break you know that's how I feel about that situation but when we we are the way we are we're here like this for a reason you know and it's a very unique thing because it's just like I've been like this my whole life my mom was like you have no cooth you have no filter I'm like well mom I'm sorry you know I'll say things that people be thinking I'm just the one that blabs it out like with my dad my dad was like that type when he was growing up but after he came to Jehovah Witness and stuff like that he'll just give you the side eye or he'll just give you a look and don't say nothing I'll laugh at him because I already see what's going on through his head because he's going off on folks he He's just like, I'm just looking, say, you know, I'm just look at you. But in my mind, I'm saying all these different things to you. And I start busting out laughing because I'm just like, no, you didn't. But it is what it is. But, you know, it, it's just a beautiful thing for you being how you are. You know, a lot of people might call us weird, might call us freaks or you're strange. I'm like, yeah, I'm very unique. And you don't find too many people like me. You know, you don't find too many people like you. And that is a blessing to be who we are. Even though we go through a lot of hell, it's a blessing to be the way we are. And you know, a lot of times I used to, y'all used to hear me say it's like a blessing and a curse. But it's like more and more every day when I can really see the side of things and how I've helped people find their way or even add, you know, towards their journey. I'm not trying to say, oh, I'm a God or whatever like this. But it's a blessing when you can help somebody out on their journey. Give sense to some crazy stuff that we go through and just like, you know what, I'm not alone. Oh, thank God. You know, because that's a scary thing to not no reason why you are the way you are you know because i mean I, I love what i do because before this i had to get it spiritually from my father or you know from the universe they they had me go through certain things or i would have visions of certain things or i'll hear certain words in my head and i go look it up and i'm just like wow this is what it is or you know i didn't have people to do you know do what i'm doing right now unless i'm listening to a motivational speaker about things I, I listen to infinite waters um i listen to uh um let me see who else trent shelton um jay shady um i forgot the other there was two other youtubers that i watched but i forgot their names you know but uh they they really educated me on a lot of different things i know it was a white guy with this you know he was a pretty boy i forgot his name but he um 
he he does a lot of videos like I do. You know, he talks about the star seeds and stuff like that. But, you know, it's a blessing to be able to, you know, be able to bring awareness and bring knowledge towards people to let you know you're not on this this journey by yourself. You're not the only one who's gone through the things you're going through. You know, it's okay to be scared. It's okay to look for help. You know, you should never, you know, be too prideful to where you do, you don't need help. Because it's just a lot of things you might be going through and don't know the reason why you're going through this, you know. Because it's just like I get stuff from the universe and say, hey, you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, um, either you're calling on Arch Archangel Michael or you might have seen him in a vision or you might hear his name in your head. You know, all these different things and boom, next thing you know, about five or six people are coming back and telling me, Rosalind, yes, I've been dealing with them all this week. Are you serious? You're saying the things that I'm going through. And it's a blessing to be able to do that, to let people know you are not on this journey by yourself. We are all going through certain things. You know, we we, we all have our little version of hell. We just got different devils dealing with it. same same situation, same devils with different situations. That's what I meant to say. But we are the way we are. You know, you should never be saying i'm sorry for being who you are you know you're helping out in your own way for all this madness that's going on into the world you know we hear so much that's why i have to cut myself off from social media at times especially news i don't watch tv i i mean i got my, my favorite shows that come on on monday and that's the only time i watch tv if it's on dvr other than that i don't do it oh my gosh this that <laughs> This meditation got me feeling all euphoric. I'm like, wait a minute, why am I feeling this way? But, you know, it got me feeling all like I'm on cloud nine. But it's having me, you know, when Akashic Records is on, it makes you feel like you're going through all your past lives at the same time. And it's just like, it's a beautiful thing when you can be able to remember things like that. Like, you know, I, I remember my times when I used to be in Egypt helping running the pharaohs with my husband or, you know, being able to be in a biblical sense, walking around with Lazarus and John and, you know, you know, Joan and all these different folks, Jesus and stuff like that. It's just crazy, you know, because it's like, you know, um, people. some people ask me, do you read the Bible? No, I don't. I don't. Because there's a lot of things in that Bible that makes me reflect on things I'm trying to forget as it is. You know, it's not like. You know, some people are like, oh, you don't want to read the Bible because it tells you the truth. No, it's not about that. But some of the things, I'm, you know, I'm not trying to get on nobody's religious or whatever. I have people come at me, so don't come at me. I'm just giving my opinion, my opinion. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's been a little bit stretched out in the Bible that, you know, certain things didn't go on, but they want you to believe a certain way when it went a different way. I will say that, you know, I remember there was a different things that went on that you know a lot of people that you know bible is a man-made book you know um a lot of things did happen that they said it happened in that book but there's a lot of things that didn't happen that they said in that book as well but it's just you know there are certain things that i read on that i've known about there are certain things like even when i was younger when my mom used to make me watch those uh like Passion of the Christ type movies, I used to scream and holler and say, Mommy, this is not how this went. This is not how this went. At seven or eight years old, a child shouldn't be able to tell you something like that unless they know something, you know. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, I'm a very spiritual person. I'm not a religious one. You know, I don't knock anybody else down for, you know, their, their, relief, their, their beliefs. You know, they do what they do. But I believe in certain things. I've told people that before. You know, if you you can remember your past lives, if you were in those that biblical era, you will know there are certain things in the Bible that didn't happen that they said it happened. And you remember because you were there. So it, it's just like a lot of different things just came up. And, you know, I'm not going to apologize for being the way I am. You know, some people, you know, I, I even hear people come at me about my 1044 video. That's my opinion. You are not going to be able to change my opinion with your beliefs. You know, that's your opinion. You believe what you want. I believe what I want. You know, there's a lot of people. Some people say, oh, well, you're not one of the 1,044. If you don't know by now, then you're not one. That isn't about that. You know, there's some a lot of people that are walking around and they need that light switch to come on for them to know that, hey, you might be this if you these are the things to look for. Because there's a lot of things that we, we can be spiritually gifted about and don't know. You know, you you have questions about it but you know you can't talk to any average person like that they'll probably lock you up or think you're crazy 
you know, if you're not talking to somebody who's on the same level with you because you're wide awake and there's some people that are still half sleep and blind to their own truth. So, you know, it is what it is. But I'm not going to um, hold y'all up. And I love y'all to death. I'm going to get my post notification shot out to you. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And, um... Just much love to you and, you know, share and like and subscribe. And I will give my post notification shout out to Ray Fisher, um, King Hayoka, Joshua Flores, and Anzo Sun. Much love to you. Many blessings. I love y'all. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I'll see you later. Peace and be wild.